Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the bill now, guys. It's brew day 16th of May 2013. We're brewing again at the Brains Brewery, exactly one year after we brewed the Fire Island IPA, which was a raging success. Uh, we are just put the foundation licking in now, so I'll grab the camera and take you in to have a look. Cheers. Uh, good morning to Mr. Phil Dobson, head brewer today. How are you doing, Bill? Hi, Simon. Welcome again. Yeah, brilliant. You're one year after the uh, Barry Island IPA, the anniversary. It is. Where is that 12 months ago, Simon? It's, it's uh, absolutely blown by. Well, we just put the foundation liquor in today. And we're just starting So out. far. And we're just starting to mash in. So we've got steam all over your camera. Steam all over the camera. Uh, it's going in at 72, 73 degrees. That's the, that's the liquor temperature to try and aim to get a, a final mass temperature of about 66 degrees. We had a big conversion of uh, sugars, produced a fermentable sugars, because it's going to be a high ABV beer, so we want as much sugar out of this malt as we possibly can. So we're going to pack a load of malt in here today? Yeah, we've got a quite high grade malt um, and a high ABV product that's going to come out of it. Fantastic. Okay, so we're just, sorry for how loud it is up here. It is a working brewery, but we've got the grist now going down. We're up inside the grist case. Where they pack all the malt, and that goes down into the vessel below, mixed with the, the hot liquor for the beer. Okay, we're just crack, catching the last little bit of this process here. The mash tun's nearly full. Look at all that nice hot malt. Okay, this is the first gravity, gravity check the beer. The process of just cooling it down. Is it from 73? What are you cooling it down to, Bill? Cooling down to 20 to do the standard gravity. So that's... Yeah. Um, so we get an accurate reading. We need to get it to 20 degrees centigrade to standardise it. Okay. With our sophisticated cooling device, which is a tap connected to a piece of tube. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, Kilo Jug, this is the Simcoe Hop, there you go. Wish you had smell of vision for that one. Okay. We're looking for 1.5 kilos of Simcoe Hops. There's the weighing scale on the wall there. Too much. There we go, smack on. Cheers. Okay, so looking for 1.5 kilos of centennial hop as well going into the brew. By now, you um, keen home brewers out there will probably have an idea of um, this is going to be quite a hoppy beer. This is where you need smell of vision Simon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I smell orange. Oh, just wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so there's the that's the hot mix that's actually gonna go in the fermenting vessel. Okay. 
and then we're going to do some more hops that are going to go in the copper late. So these are going to go right at the end of the boil and that's going to get us some, um, some real powerful aromas in the wort. And then the hops in the, in the fermenting vessel are going to really then boost that hop flavour and that hop aroma even further. So have a real high bitterness, loads of hop flavour from the, from the boil and then loads of hop flavour coming in late on from the, from the fermenter as well. So. Fantastic. Okay, Bill, this is slightly different from last year. Um, there was pallets on the floor last time. Now you seem to have a, an organised racking system with all your hops, and wow, there's some hops there. Yeah, this, is, this is true brewer, true brewer's porn, this is, Simon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this, is, this isn't pictures of bottles on the shelf, this is pictures of hops on racking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, with the craft brewery, we're obviously showcasing lots of different hops, and we've got a lot of different hops, hops styles, so... And I've got hops on this racking behind us that we've, we've been using from, from all over the world. We've got hops from New Zealand, from Australia, from the US, some fantastic British hops. Um, we've got some German hops, we've got some Czech hops, we've got some Slovenian hops. Um, it literally is the United Nation of hops in here at the moment. Um, yes. Ranging from very spicy traditional like the Halatau hops that you just film in there to the very citrusy um, and pungent US hops Which are over uh, this and side. then some of the more tropical stuff that's coming over from from New Zealand and um, and Australia which are down down this end here Simon okay oh yeah here's the Australian galaxy uh, there's some New Zealand hops down here um, some Dr Rudy which we've just done a single hop brew with um, and we've got some Nelson Sorvine here as well which um, we uh, were looking to use at some point um, very precious hop that's difficult to get hold of. Yeah, man, there's, there's so much variety. That's the thing, isn't it, with craft beer? There's variety, isn't it? Well, there's... hops is just one dimension that we can vary in the beer. So, you know, we've, we've got all the range of different malts that we can use, but, you know, in terms of the hops as well, it's, uh, it's, it's just great what you, can, what you can use now. I'm just about to place um, some more orders because we're in the process at the moment of expanding the capacity in the craft brewery. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get some more hop stock in that we're going to use over the next uh, next 12 months. So we'll be going up from um, typically two brews a week. We'll be able to do up to three brews a week in the craft brewery. Um, both new things and repeating some of the beers that we've already done as well. So and and more of that beer is going to be going out in keg than before as well. And in the last year, um, since you opened the craft brewery, is that just purely demand that you're going from two to three yeah, brews a totally week? Yeah, totally demand. You know, we'd literally, I just can't brew enough to sort to send enough beer to everyone that wants it at the moment. And obviously, we want to keep expanding and expanding the customer base that's taking it as well. So, uh, so yeah, it's exciting. And, and I say, a year on, we're we're already um, we're already expanding, which was what we planned to do at some point when demand. Um, when demand, you know, um, warranted that, then we were planning to do it. So to do it within 12 months is, is quite exciting. Really. Uh, specialist bottle shops as well. Um, just talking to you earlier off camera, uh, Cheltenham, the bottle yeah, shop. Yeah, I there. mean we've got you know two great two great distributors in in Cardiff with um, the bottle shop and discount supermarket as take a wide range of the beers and then some some other uh, you know the independent specialist shops. Um, I know there's. Um, there's a shop in Cheltenham taking the beer now, and a shop in Birmingham, uh, Sturchley Wines taking the beer. So, um, so it's great to see the the the, the more um, diverse range of beers, the ones that you can't get in the supermarket, mm. you can get them in those specialist um, specialist beer shops. Which is Fantastic. Great. Um, it's a there's a lot of talk in the industry about hops making you hungry and standing here for the last 20 minutes weighing the hops looking at the hops smelling the hops i'm actually getting hungry so uh let's make a move i think we need a cup of tea yeah, of as well so. okay it's time to take out the master
take it out of the back. Okay, Simcoe and Santana going into the boil. Get the door open. into the brew. There you go, look at that. And time to close the door on it. Brains. Okay, what a fantastic day it's been here at Brains Brewery. Um, it's been great to be. This is probably the more the most hands-on I've been at a brewery um, so far. Um, it, it's been up and down the stairs, and we've been um, putting the malt in and the, the hops and everything else. We've come to the end of the process, but it's near enough exactly one year to the day since Barry and I came to brew. It's great to come here again, more or less as an anniversary. Um, how, how's it been, Barry Allen? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, it's great, and uh, I think you've learned a lot in the last year, Simon, yeah. because, you know, I know you, you really, um, you know, you really know the brew process now, so it's been great having the brew day with you today. Um, yeah, 12 months since we brewed Barry Allen together, what did we know that the following 12 months would give, you know? That beer has been, you know, great success. Um, it's gone into full-scale bottle production, it's available in, in Tesco, in Morrison's, um, it's just been listed with Ocado, and um, within the next couple of weeks Tesco are going to do a big beer festival feature oh, in it, right. so it's going to be in over 300 stores nationwide, so people who haven't been able to get hold of it, see if it's in your local Tesco, in this beer festival coming up, and taste it, you know, it's a great beer, it's been, it's been um, you know, something that I think surprised us all in terms of, of the way it's gone so and then it's been great now a year later for you to come back brew with us again um, and this beer that we brewed today is going to be hopefully your thousandth beer that you're going to review 1000 beer review on youtube it's going to be going up in the next couple of weeks so keep an eye on uh, the channel for that, um, but I don't know how much we can go into detail with this. I want to give you as much as I can, so I'll try and get out a bill what we brewed today because we want your suggestions for the beer. We want you to put, give the name for, for, for the beer. So if Bill could give us as much as he possibly can of what we brewed today, then you can go away and think, well, what would I call that beer? Okay, right, the beer we brewed today um, is a double IPA but with a little bit of a twist. Okay. So it's a strong beer, um, we've collected it at 1080, we're going to get around 7.5% ABV in this beer. Yeah. It's bag full of hops, so it's going to be, you know, the bitterness is going to be well up there, but we've also got some, some lovely um, American, real powerful hop aromas in there, so we've got some Centennial and some Simcoe hops in there. Um, we've brewed it with uh, a finest pale ale malt, but we've also got some aromatic malt in there and some imperial malt and a little bit of crystal to give us give us a colour. It's a a lightish uh, chestnut colour I would describe. Um, so that's the colour of the beer. So it's going to be bag full of strength. And then as the final twist and a bit of a play on the word double. We've actually not fermented this with a normal yeast that would, you would use for um, for a, a double IPA. We're actually using a Belgian uh, Trappist ale yeast. So it's Belgian with a Belgian double, Brilliant. as in a Belgian double beer. So that'll give it, on top of all that, a bit of a sort of spicy, peppery, um, um, you know, 
almost a, a rich fruit type flavours that comes from that, that yeast. It's a really, really characteristic yeast. And we were smelling it before Simon went with us, we put it into the fermenter and it just... Wonderful. You said it's like sticking your nose in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so that's the description of the beer. What we've been kicking around is what should we call it? Yeah. And Simon's idea was, okay, let's open it out to the public. So yeah. I think, Simon, you're inviting names to name this beer. Over Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, put all your comments in. Tweet to Brains Brewery, at Brains Brewery, or Brains Brewer. Um, follow him on Twitter, he's a great guy. <laughs> um, I haven't got anywhere near as many followers as Simon has. <laughs> um, yeah, but brilliant, brilliant day, really enjoyed it. I'd love to be able to, well, we went through the list of, to brew the beer, we went through and we picked a suggestion from you guys out of the list. It'd be great to go through the list again, the comments, to say, right, yeah, that's a great name, we'll take that name for the beer. And this beer is going to be debuted at the Great Welsh Beer Festival, which starts on 6th, 7th and 8th. Well, it runs 6th, 7th and 8th of June um, in the CIA here in Cardiff. So this beer is going to be an exclusive, um, it's going to be revealed for the first time to the public at that beer festival. So. Um, so we need a great name. Yeah, yeah, put your name. Put the, put the name to be in the comments box. Um, thank you very much for Brains and Bill right, for having me. Simon. It's been a wonderful day. Um, we're going to go round to the cellar now, into the sap room and have a little um, celebratory beer. But thanks for watching and cheers. <laughs>